Hey y'all, um, I know it's been a little while since the last tutorial um, and today's tutorial is going to be pretty simple and quick, nothing elaborate, um, but I'm hoping to do another one uh, in a few days on a three layer glitter bow um, and the theme will be from Frozen. Um, I'm also going to talk about um, a giveaway in this video, but we'll go ahead and do the tutorial first. Okay, um, basically what we're going to do today is um, we're going to be working with the rhinestone mesh and um, we are going to be making a knot out of it to put in the center of a bow. Very simple. Um, we did something similar, but we didn't make a knot with it. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, of course, you need your scissors, your glue gun. Um, and I've, I've made the bow already. I mean, I've already done a few tutorials on how to do the big um, bows like this, the, you know, the, the boutique style bow. So, um, you know, if you need instructions on that, you can go back and look. Um, okay, so I've already made it and, and attached the barrette to the back. Um, everything's secured in the middle. Okay, so, you know, from this point, we're just going to do the knot in the middle. Again, just a very simple tutorial. And um, the goal for this is just to take a very plain, simple bow and dress it up. Um, you know, and, and I find that um, it, it's, it stays simple, yet it gives it, um, you know, a more glitzy look without having to go to a lot of trouble. These are good for weddings, um, you know, church, just any kind of thing like that. Okay, but yet yeah, it's simple for everyday use as well. Okay, so I'm just going to set that to the side for a minute. Okay, and you want to leave the tension bar out of the back until we, you know, finish putting our knot around the center. Okay, you want to cut a piece that's oh about eight inches or so long. I don't think you're going to need much more than that. Um, if you want to do a little bit more just to make sure then um, you can and of course this is just a rhinestone mesh you know you can order it's not a sticker um, it's on you know it's on the roll. <clears throat> okay and, and um, you want to get seven eighths of an inch width uh, coordinating ribbon to go with your bow um, and you know you can use any color you want I'm just using the clear rhinestones and this is cut you know to about the same about eight or nine inches okay this is gonna line the rhinestones all right so basically very simple I just put one on top of the other okay and then you want to do go ahead and do your um, and if you need to tape it down with the, you know, with the two-sided tape, you can do that. I, I, you know, I normally don't do that with the, you know, the knots. But then you just want to, you know, do your awareness symbol with one, you know, the rhinestones stacked on top of the ribbon itself. Okay. And then, of course, you know, you just simply want to put this tail underneath. You know, I'm just going underneath and... You know, grab both of them and pull them through and then kind of just twist it okay and then there you have your knot all right so I'll just do that one more time you're doing the exact same thing you just kind of have a, a you know a double layer it's the same as a regular knot but you have a double layer with the rhinestone on top oh and I forgot to mention um, if you're cutting and you you know you want to know how many rhinestones are crossed it's five one two three four five across okay all right one more time I just always like this you know this part to be in front and then I just feed it through the back I pull it up and then twist it okay all right and then just tighten it up to where you have you know something like this you don't want to pull it too tight okay in, in fact I like my knots like this okay and then um, you can if you prefer I'm gonna get your your bow here you can put just a little bit of glue if you want 
and then put your your knot in the middle and then just wrap it around and you see how pretty that looks already and then basically you just cut off the excess and then I'm just kind of straightening my loops here okay and I'm just gonna cut both together and just cut it down to whatever size you want okay and then you get your glue gun and what what I do is I put a little glue in between the rhinestones and the ribbon to hold them together okay on the top and on the bottom okay and then put the glue on the outside and you can heat seal it um, right here if you want to but just for the sake of being quick I'm going to do it this way and then you just put one side down and then you glue the other side okay and then you just kind of straighten it and then that's what you have back there and it's not too bulky you know you you uh, you can put a piece of felt over it if you want for extra security okay and then you just get your tension bar and I just use my little trick I put my my prongs in and then I set my um, the end part here and then I just flip the lid over okay and then you just go and you you know straighten it out and then this is what you have as far as the rhinestones in the middle and you know it makes a huge difference I mean look at how pretty that is you can even go so far as to uh, if you want to depending on how much sparkle you want you could actually glue little rhinestones all over it okay but today's tutorial is just you know simple and again I've done the other tutorials you could put you know a line of of uh, uh, rhinestones on the tail also but you know if you don't want to overdo it but you just want a nice pretty look um, and something that's quick then you know just a rhinestone knot in the middle uh, would work too okay and that's it for our tutorial um, I'll just show you real quick what I was working on before um, I've got my my um, funky loopy Shopkins bow with the little taco. I'm not real good with the uh, the names. I don't have little girls, so I'm not real familiar with the names of all the My Little Ponies. And um, I think I know the Disney princesses, but I don't really know the names of the Shopkins. I just like them real well. Um, I buy them even though I don't have little girls, and I'm 44 years old. Um, but anyway, that's what I was working on earlier. Cute, cute. Okay, let's talk about the um, giveaway. I think I had mentioned that once I had 100 subscribers that I would do a giveaway. Well, uh, last time I checked I was at 97 and, you know, I, I get a few more every day so I believe probably within the next day or two we'll hit 100, but anyway, close enough. So how you would enter for this giveaway is to leave a comment uh, in this video and um, hopefully this isn't too vague but the comment you need to comment uh, well the bow uh, is going to be a bow of your choice okay the giveaway is for a hair bow and um, you what you would do is comment what bow you want okay and it doesn't necessarily have to be a bow that I've done uh, if you want a Disney princess bow then um, you know and you win the giveaway then that's what you'll get if you want a Shopkins bow um, you know if you need a bow to go with an outfit uh, something like that um, 
you know, if you want a My Little Pony bow, if you want a Princess Ariel bow, okay, that's the kind of giveaway that um, we're doing. Sometimes I do that on Facebook. I do have a new Facebook page to go with, um, you know, the Big Southern Bows name, and I will leave the link to that as well as um, my email address. I would love to see some of your creations. Um, but again, hopefully the information on the giveaway is not too confusing. Basically, just leave a comment on what bow you would like to win. Okay, hopefully that's easy enough. And if not, just, you know, ask me and I'll try to explain it, you know, through the comments. And then um, I'm working on a new uh, Facebook page and hopefully the link, you know, works by now. But anyway, um, I've got all the, the tutorials listed on the Facebook page, you know, the links to those and, you know, adding pictures and whatnot. So uh, thanks for watching and hope you guys have a good day and please uh, thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment if you want to enter the giveaway. Thanks.